I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC, and I'm in our Inland Distribution Conference in Memphis. I'm joined by Dr. Noel Hasagaba, Chief Commercial Officer for the Port of Long Beach. Thanks for speaking with me today, Noel. My pleasure, Alessandra. The port has achieved record TEUs, and volumes are up over last year. How did you achieve this, given all of the disruption at the end of last year and the beginning of 2015? That's right, Alessandra. The Port of Long Beach has much to celebrate. For the months of July and August, we saw double-digit increases, which were uh, surpassed our, even our own expectations. In the month of uh, July, we hit 690,000 TUs for the first time in our, in our history. That was followed by another record-breaking month in August, where we eclipsed 700,000 TUs for a single month, first time in our history. So we're very excited about that. We saw for the month of August, a 23% year-over-year increase, which represents not just a restored confidence in our gateway, but it also means that all the initiatives that we've launched in response to the congestion that we experienced late last year and earlier this year is paying off. We've also intensified our outreach to the beneficial cargo owners. And we believe that much of the cargo that was diverted late last year, early this year, has come back. And we will continue our efforts to reach out to the BCOs and continue our efforts to improve operations so that full confidence can be restored in our gateway. At TPM, we spoke about the launch of the chassis pool. Any challenges that were unexpected that came up with that? The pool of pools is working well. We continue to experience uh, chassis shortages from time to time. I can tell you that the pool of pools model is the single uh, largest contributor to an improved operational experience throughout this uh, current peak season. But we're still concerned about certain indicators, the percentage of chassis that are on the street for longer than eight days, for instance, uh, the percentage of chassis that are in disrepair, or the percentage of chassis that are in terminal and haven't made their way outside the terminal for some time. So there's certainly a lot, of, a lot more work to do on the chassis front, but we're encouraged that this pool of pools has cut down on the repositions, cut down on inefficiencies, and we will continue to work with the chassis providers to ensure that the service to our customers remains top notch. Could you speak a little bit about the effect of the alliances on your business? The alliances have certainly been a game changer for the Port of Long Beach. In fact, when you consider the San Pedro Bay complex, the ports of LA and Long Beach together, combined we have 13 terminals. We have 16 ocean carriers that are grouped into four major alliances. And all the cargo that they bring to our port is dispersed across these 13 terminals. One of the things that we learned early on is that the way that these vessels are loaded at origin has an impact downstream when that vessel arrives at the, port of, at the point of destination. And so we're working very closely with our carriers, working closely with the alliances to ensure that their operational processes align with our own aligned with the terminal operators, with the railroads, with the trucking companies. One of the things that we're seeking very, very aggressively is how to inject visibility, how to increase communication and coordination across the entire supply chain. As a port, we're just as concerned about the last mile as we are about the first mile. And I think that's the way we have to look at things. We have to look at the supply chain from a very holistic and comprehensive way. We believe that this initiative, this supply chain optimization initiative that we're in the process of implementing will yield even greater fruits and greater results in the years ahead. Well, thanks again for joining me today, Noel. It's my pleasure. I've been speaking with Dr. Noel Hasagaba, Chief Commercial Officer for the Port of Long Beach.